What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at some more really cool tweaks you can get from Cydia. Also some applications, so uh, tweaks and apps that you can get from Cydia. Now if you guys see any other tweak on my device that I don't mention or anything on my device, you know, that I don't cover in this video, be sure to check out the playlist link down in the description. I've pretty much covered everything on my device at this point. So like I said, if there's a tweak or something you see on my device that I don't cover, you'll probably find it on the, that playlist. So be sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Uh, but anyways, we're going to jump right into this. The first tweak I got for you guys is called Same Status Bar. Basically what it does is it makes the status bar on the lock screen the same size as the status bar on your home screen so you don't have that change when you unlock your device that was one thing that really annoyed me is uh you know the the two different sizes in status bar you can notice it when you unlock your device you'll see the you know the size of it change and i thought it was really annoying so i threw this tweak in and i actually really like it it just makes the status bar sizes the same hence the name same status bar next up is a classic and it's definitely worth having on your device it is extremely functional. It's called Swipe Selection. Basically what it allows you to do is to swipe on your keyboard to navigate your cursor through text. Super simple and extremely convenient. You can even drag on the delete button to highlight text and going the opposite direction you can grab onto the shift button and highlight text going the opposite way. Now I know that iOS has a built-in swipe selection feature, at least with devices that support force touch, but this is definitely much better uh, than iOS's version. And plus, anybody that doesn't have Force Touch can get this on their device. It's always a really good tweak that I go to right away after I jailbreak. Again, the tweak is called Swipe Selection. Next up, we have an application from Cydia. You will have to add a source in order to get this application. The source will be listed down in the description. But the application is called iCleaner Pro. This is an awesome application. Basically, it'll clean up all the crap out of your device that you don't need on it and free up a bunch of memory. I'm actually going to do it in this video for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on clean and it's going to go ahead and go through the process. Now I'm going to fast forward this because it can take up to a minute or maybe even two minutes depending on how much crap is on my device. So I'll go ahead and fast forward it. I'll be back in a second. So there we go. It is done cleaning up my device and as you guys can see, it just freed up 3.5 gigabytes of space on my device, which is crazy. It'll do its automatic respring here. Now, the first time I used this, uh, I, I didn't have it installed for a while. I used it and it freed up 6.5 gigabytes of memory, which is crazy. That's a lot of crap that you don't need on your device. Uh, and this application does an amazing job of just cleaning out that crap. Like I said, just as easy as that, you just click the button, clean out your device, and I literally just freed up 3.5 gigabytes of space. Definitely worth having on your device. Again, it's called iCleaner Pro. The next must-have application from Cydia is Anemone. Now, this is an awesome application. Basically, it allows you to have themes on your device. In my opinion, it's way, way, way better than Winterboard. I don't even know if Winterboard works anymore. I haven't tried it since like iOS 8, so I don't know if it works anymore, but uh, Anemone is awesome. So We'll just go ahead and open up the application now. It's a little buggy on iOS 10. Every once in a while, I'll get a pop-up saying that I have to reinstall uh, the application through Cydia. So just go in and go to the package, reinstall it, and you're done. So uh, a little bit buggy, but for the most part, it works perfectly fine. And for everybody that's curious about what themes I have on my device, uh, here is the list of all the different themes. Uh, one thing that's really cool about Anemone in iOS 10 is you don't actually have to respring your device to change the theme. So I'm going to disable Eye Candy, which is what I'm using right now, and then we will switch on Astral. I'm just going to switch on the icons here. So once you've chose which uh, themes you want to use, you can actually get a quick preview by clicking on Preview, and that's how you're going to actually apply the theme. So uh, you know, judging by what it looks like here, you can click on Apply and apply the changes, or you can click on Cancel and make more changes. So I'm just going to click on Apply. And as simple as that, it doesn't even respring. My theme is changed on my device and it looks totally different than it did before. Uh, all the icons are different, so de definitely a must-have application. Again, it's called Anemone. A tweak that people ask me about all the time is called No More Separators. Basically what it does is it removes all the separation lines system-wide throughout your device. I'm using settings here, for example, as you guys can see. Uh, it doesn't have all the lines in between each individual section of settings. 
Uh, it removes those separators, hence the name No More Separators. Uh, and in my opinion, this tweak really makes your device look a lot more clean and simple and it just looks better. And like I said, this is system wide. So this is just my settings application. There is a ton of applications that have separator lines in them. Uh, and like I said, it just removes all those separators. The name is No More Separators. Next up, we have Sleek Notifications. Basically what this tweak does is it makes your banner notifications sleek. It makes them slimmer, smaller, and look a little bit better in my opinion, less obtrusive. I'm in the, the tweak settings color banners too, just because there is a test banner function in here. And if I click on test banner, as you guys can see, the banner notifications on my device are slimmed down substantially, and that is due to the tweak sleek notifications. Very simple tweak, just makes the notifications on your device a little bit more sleek. Very cool tweak. Next up, we got swipe home. This tweak has been around for a while now, so it's kind of a classic, but it's definitely still very, very functional. Basically what Swipe Home does is allow you to open up your uh, multitasking here and allows you to swipe up on the home page and it will kill all applications from multitasking. Super simple. So we'll just go ahead and swipe up on that. And as you guys can see, it killed all multitasking applications on my device. Uh, there's a few settings that you can change like the animations and stuff like that. Uh, but definitely a really cool tweak to just kill all multitasking apps. Again, it's called Swipe Home. Confiro 2 is a new tweak in Cydia that adds a little icon to your status bar, as you guys can see in the upper right uh, next to the Bluetooth icon and also my battery. There's the Confiro 2 icon. So we can actually click on that icon and it will open up Confiro 2. Now this is going to put all of your applications that you have missed notifications for uh, up here so that you can easily... Uh, see, you know, which applications have missed notifications. It has a, a little bit more functionality than um, Notification Center. As you guys can see, you can actually force touch on the applications that you have missed notifications for. You can clear uh, the single notification. You can clear all notifications for all applications on your device at once, uh, which is super nice. So uh, a little bit more functionality than, like I said, in Notification Center. Again, the tweak is called Confiro 2. So if any of you guys are into old school gaming systems like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, Sega, PlayStation, any of those systems, this is an application you're definitely going to want on your device. The application is called Happy Chick. You will have to add a source in Cydia in order to get it. I will leave a video link in the description uh, showing how to get this application, but uh, let's go ahead and open up Happy Chick. Uh, and like I said, this is a multi-system emulator, meaning you can play multiple different systems all within this one application. Like I said, PlayStation, N64, uh, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, etc. All these different systems. Uh, you can pick whatever system you want and go through and search the games of that system. And you can download it directly right in the application. Uh, it's super simple the way it works. And it's extremely fun to do. Especially if you have a GameSir controller. This is a controller-enabled application. Uh, I did a review of this controller a while back. I'll leave a video link for the controller as well. Uh, but like I said, you can basically play all these old-school games within this application. And you can also use this controller because it does work. Now, if you don't have a controller, that's perfectly fine because there are on-screen controls, obviously, with each and every game. Uh, but having the controller just takes it to a whole nother level and it makes gaming extremely fun, especially when it's old school games like this. So uh, definitely worth having on your device. Again, the application is called Happy Chick. And again, the controller video will be linked in the description. So be sure to check that out. The last tweak I got for you guys is definitely one of the best tweaks you can get for your lock screen. And it is Lock Plus 10. I recently did a uh, tutorial on how to get it on your device on iOS 10. Uh, and as you guys can see, basically what it does is it allows you to change the clock and the date, uh, also add weather and a bunch of other stuff, pretty much change the theme of your lock screen on the fly. If you go to view themes, these are all the different themes you can just click on and it will instantly switch the theme of your lock screen to whatever theme you choose. Uh, it is a seriously awesome uh, tweak to have on your device. Like I said, you can also uh, choose whether you want to use the wallpaper that comes with the theme 
or you can choose not to use it to use your own wallpaper. Uh, definitely a well polished and very well put together uh, tweak to have on your device. Like I said, it's it's really awesome to be able to change the theme of your lock screen so easily and have so many choices. There's literally hundreds of different themes that you can choose from. So definitely a must have on your device. Again, that is called Lock Plus 10. So there you go, guys. Those are 10 more really cool tweaks and applications that you can get from Cydia that work on the iOS 10 jailbreak. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And like I said, if there's any other tweaks that were on my device uh, that you want to find out more information about, like I said, check out the playlist link in the description where I've covered all the different tweaks on my device. Uh, so you'll probably find them there if you have questions about anything. Uh, but like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more tweak videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.